Let's take that discipline for boxing. How does you, how do you personally transfer it into acting? Um, I, well, uh, the discipline to me, um, it's almost like a math test, both boxing and acting. Mm. When you study for a math test and it's time to take that math test, there's no crunching for the math test. You either learned that or you don't know that. Wow, yeah. And yeah. that's it. So when you're boxing, it's like you either did that training and you're gonna be able to make it through those three rounds or those five rounds for those two minutes or those three minutes, or you're gonna get winded you're, and you didn't have it. So that's, it's just that simple. And then the second part is that with acting, when they say action, you either study those lines, made those decisions, put in those time, put in that hour, or you didn't, and it's going to show. So with me, a lot of people do method acting. Um, our uh, our uh, good friend Omari Hardwick, who is um, an incredible actor and was so much fun to play with, between action and cut, I knew that that guy had my back. Mm -hmm. So, um, but he's very method. He stays in that character. He he's you know fully immersed. Whereas me, and I think it be, it's because I come from theater, I do all the homework at home. So I show up gotcha. and I'm able to, and I, what I do, and this is just my own preparation, and I respect everybody's process, is I flip the switch. And I keep Tommy as close as I needed to keep Tommy, especially for those first seasons. Um, if I needed to talk like Tommy, if I needed to act like Tommy, that's what I needed to do to make sure that Tommy was present on the screen. And then when it's like riding a bike, you can flip it on, you can flip it off. And uh, uh, that's to me, is, is a symbol for me of the discipline of taking the work seriously but lightly. I'm not curing cancer, but I am entertaining the world. Right. And uh, I think that's important too. So I do take it important. I do take it seriously, but myself lightly. Um, Tommy Egan is, is just ruthless, vengeful. Yeah, he's, his, his is out front. Well, in some ways, if Tommy had to work twice as hard to get noticed in the hood because he was the odd uh, person out because he was the unaccepted one right. and I think that sometimes when we think about Tommy Egan being made by black culture Tommy Egan was not, Tommy Egan I was glad to portray him and be the vessel for Tommy Egan but I say make no mistake about it Tommy Egan was ex, was made by uh, black culture and I mean that in a ways a black culture said all right I don't you know no, I'm not sent, detecting bullshit here I right. accept this character this is ours. We're claiming. Right. We're claiming. We're claiming. This character. He's, he's out. He's one of us. And part of that. Part of that, I think, is the reflective in not only the writing but also the portrayal of saying, "Here's a here's a person." I think that, unfortunately, and I think things are changing slowly, but that I think oftentimes in a professional situation, black people did have to prove themselves twice as much right. that people that white people did not have to. And black and Latin, they were expected like, oh. It's not just, I can't just put this person in the corner. I can't just compartmentalize mm. this thing. They've proven themselves too much right. and, be, and had to become so valuable over just, and over again. just to be on that level. And I think in some ways that's reflective of the Tommy character, that he had to prove himself twice as much just to be taken this much seriously. So there's that intensity and that drive gotcha, that gotcha. I think a lot of people can, can, um, can uh, understand in, 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 intrinsically.